Uh, so we are still waiting on a release date for the Cowabunga collection. Yeah. In the meantime, it's I have been... 2023. That's all we got. Yes, yes, yes. In the mean, in the interim, I have beaten the Manhattan Project. Yes. Uh, along with the the tunnel from Battletoads. This is all hearsay. I could be making it up, but I I, I did it. He did it. I did it. Seen them. I seen it. Because when I beat the Battletoad level, I was in here going, "Huh, uh, uh, are you okay?" <laughs> I did. It. Housekeeping. I made it. <laughs> So, a game that we are eventually going to put on the arcade channel. Uh, I have done the full playthrough, uh, but I want everybody taking turns because it's a fun game. A but, game. beating us to the punch <laughs> is Honest Trailers. We love our Honest Trailers. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they have to say about Shredder's re re Revenge. Spoilers? <laughs> Side-scrolling beat-em-up is an almost forgotten genre. Reclaim your glory days with a flavor blast of straight Glory days. That isn't afraid to strip off. Yeah, you pass by, by glory days. almost nothing about it. Because it turns out yeah. that's actually what everyone wanted. Woo! Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder. Love that old logo. Mm-hmm. Experience a game so close nuts. to the arcade classic <laughs> Turtles in Time. It would give an IP lawyer a five-hour boner. <laughs> and discover a genre that was designed to be played gathered around an arcade machine with other humans. Yeah, Except this right. time, you're alone in your room, possibly nude, and covered in Dorito dust. <laughs> Read the extremely thin mechanics of the genre to speak for themselves yeah. as you mash their weight after weight. Yeah. 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 Mostly one button, oh, yeah. While getting constantly destroyed by traps, dudes throwing things from off screen, and bosses with no hits done. That made sense when you read a Chuck E. Cheese with as much time as your parents needed. A Chuck E. Cheese. That's right. That's enough meat to keep the single brain setting you have left occupied <laughs> until the actual video game comes out. Basically, it's the gaming equivalent of an appetizer. If that appetizer was also a bottle of Xanax, <laughs> scream cowabunga and die face first into your half-imagined memories as you choose your favorite color, weapon, and vague personality to the turtle. <laughs> or one of the radical new additions, an old rat band. And a reporter who weighs maybe 90 pounds. <laughs> you were in here when I was playing this, right? <laughs> because April has been taking self defense classes in between hopping around sewers, I guess. Then listen to the perfect amount of story. Literally, one line of dialogue. Guess wrong, the turtles. Then jump into a level full of boys to repeatedly kick in the gonads for fun and profit, as well as the heaping help of all the mechanics and enemies from Turtles in Time. From the four scrolling yeah. overboard levels to the manholes you'll somehow fall into like 14 times in a row, mm -hmm. or the PCP lace pizzas you'll find in the trench cans <laughs> that make you go absolutely <laughs> apeshit in an undeniable love letter to a genre that arguably should stay dead and buried. But hey. it still does a great job of reminding us of a time when our brains were capable of experiencing joy, Woo! at least for the first two hours of game that you can guilt trip out of your adult friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uncover the addition Shredder's Revenge Base to the classic beat em up formula. Like the level select map that serves basically no purpose. The leveling system that you have no input in. The super meter that drains most of the difficulty out of regular fights. The combo meter that will keep you focused on making the big number go up. The blood out of you'll find under every single piece of garbage. And a handful of new attacks that keep you from actually falling asleep mid-fight. All of which do a lot to keep the game from getting stale. But ultimately is safe by the fact that it's incredibly short and on Game Pass in a gameplay loop that is fine. Wish we would have known that before. <laughs> its sole challenge really came from having to beat it with the four dollars and quarters that you had. Yep. And in this era, how many beers? Just <laughs> like this game is about to say, but that's a side, man. <laughs> Look at the wrong girl again. <laughs> so twirl those nunchucks and grab yourself a big cheesy slice of nostalgia <laughs> with a game that's largely banking on you having played a different game from 30 years ago. So hearing the Turtles of Time is from that long ago made you feel old. You're the target audience. And Thank also, you. your flesh is withering away as we speak. Have fun up there. Star. Oh boy. The Samurai Nard. Is there rehab for pizza? <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. The dirt like this. Scaling. Right off to you. Right. Unemployed. <laughs> Teenage 
and bring the Sculpture Turtles. Yeah. In a half shell. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So they're supposed to sing for the licensing rights. Yeah, Tell us that was what fun. you'd like to hear in my epic voice. In the and it had, um, it was those four and uh, Star, Star Bright, Starlight. Jubilee? No, it was Star I see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, Dazzler okay. well, and Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they for the longest time they wanted uh, <clears throat> to cast the fans wanted to cast Taylor Swift as Dazzler in um, the the prequel X Men movies. Yeah, yeah, that would have made them better. Yeah, she would have wrote a song how about how bad the movie treated her. Uh, <laughs> Anyway. Oh, Kurt Wagner. <laughs> Why are you doing me like that? <laughs> it's like Clarence Crawford. Kurt Wagner, Kurt Wagner, Kurt Wagner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, on that note, <laughs> we'll catch you with the next on the trailer next time. The <laughs>